Well, hello, little unsuspecting black circle. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so we're gonna have some fun in Inkscape today. And first things first, if you're a brand new Inkscape user, do not be afraid. This is a, a tutorial designed for beginners. We've got a menu along the left and we're gonna be using the circle button right there. And then we've got a couple colors down at the bottom and we've got a couple items along the right. We're not really gonna be using much of that. We're really just using the circle button today and then the edit and that's pretty much it. So let's jump right in. Okay, well, we also wanna pay attention to this little fill and stroke down on the bottom left-hand side. So that'll be the areas that we take a look at. First things first here, we're gonna draw a circle. Now I'm just gonna click the circle button and when that happens, I can just drag my mouse and it creates a circle. Problem is I can also create an ellipse and that's not what I want. I want a true circle. So I'm just gonna click the, the, the uh, delete button. And when I scroll with my mouse, I'm gonna click the control button. So that gives me a true circle. Okay, so that's my circle right there. Now I'm gonna select my circle. So now I've got these little arrows I'm gonna select it one more time. So the second time I click it, you'll notice the arrows change. I could rotate it. I've also got this little node here in the middle and let's pay attention to that node. I can actually move that node now outside of the circle and that's what I'm gonna do right now. So when you, when you get out of the circle, like I click it like that, it just looks like a normal circle. When I click on the circle once, it looks like the normal arrows. When I click on it a second time, that's what I wanna see is that little node sitting underneath the circle about the width of half of a circle, but you can move it around and try it. After you do this once, you can change this and try it again and again, and you might find some really cool, funky ideas here with it. So we've just got the circle and we've got it sitting outside. Now, what color should we make the circle? Well, we could make the circle all sorts of different colors. And you'll notice that when I have the, the fill here, this is what's called a fill, the fill actually changes down here in the bottom left as well. I want that fill actually to be undefined. So I'm gonna click on this fill down in the bottom left and this fill window opens up on the right hand side and I'm gonna go into the top part here and I'm gonna click the little question mark. That question mark now says paint is undefined. So I've got the fill is undefined, the stroke is undefined, it says on set. Same thing with the stroke paint, I just have that little question mark checked. This is important because as we make our radial path, it's gonna change each circle each time. So we wanna make sure it says on set. This is really important. If you don't do this, it won't work. Okay, so from here, we've now got our circle set up. I'm gonna click it a second time. We can see that our node is set up underneath it. Now I'm going to go to edit, clone, and create tiled clone. Okay, so now we're in this create tiled clones tab and we've got a number of tabs underneath it. I'm gonna give you all of the settings here that you wanna do. So the first tab is called symmetry and you wanna have rows and columns, eight rows, 12 columns. The next one is shift, and you wanna have shift X per column is minus 100%. Shift Y is also minus 100%. Exponent is one and one. Scale, scale X minus 12.5. Scale Y minus 12.5. Exponent one, one. You're gonna leave that the same. Rotation, you're gonna do per row zero, per column 30 degrees, randomize zero. Blur and opacity can all be zero, we don't need to worry about that. Color, okay, this is the key part here, color, we wanna have per column 8.3%, and then we wanna have, that's under the H row, and then under the L row, we wanna have 12.5%. Then we get to the trace, and for the trace, I've just got it all turned off. There's nothing here. I'm not tracing anything here. Now we'll click Create. And there it is. Now, if you're not getting this thing, there's a couple reasons why. One might be that the initial color of this thing is actually set to an actual color. So if you do that and you click Create, you're gonna get 
something similar. But notice how my fill down at the bottom is a true color. I don't want it to be a true color. Now you might if you want to make that, like if you want to do like a cool, you know, effect, like that's pretty neat, but that's not the rainbow one that we were looking for. So you got to make sure that this fill, you're going to click on this fill button and you're going to make it the question mark, okay? That's now undefined, it's unset. So I'm going to close out fill and stroke. Okay, the other thing that you want to do is under color, the initial color, you want to change this initial color to something. So for example, if I make it like red, that's the initial color it's starting off at. So if this initial color it might be black, if I change it to black, for example, there, and I click create, you get a really cool effect, but again, it's not a rainbow color. So you gotta make sure all of these settings are set up the way they are, plus this is the key part, your fill is unset, your stroke is unset, and your initial color is something. I typically start with red because it's like the start of the rainbow. So my initial color, red. You can see there it's bright red. Then I click create. And we can see now we've created the red, the orange, the yellow, the greens, the blues, just like the actual rainbow. Now, if you want to export this thing, it's pretty easy to do. Just hit control A. That selects everything. And then you go up to object group. And now that creates one big group. And then you can just export it like you would normally export it. So over on the right hand side, there's this little export this document as a PNG. You would just click that. Or you could just save it just as an SVG file, just as a vector, that sort of thing. You can save it, export it, do what you need to do. You can also expand it. Now, because it's an object, you can make it larger, for example. You can even stretch it. You can do all sorts of neat stuff to it. So I hope you found that helpful. There's a lot of cool things in Inkscape, and this is one that it's easy to create the radial, but it's you got to tweak a couple things to get the actual rainbow going on it, and it's a mixture of the fill and the stroke, and then also making sure that the initial color in there, I use red, but you could use another color as well. It just doesn't, it can't be black. Hope you guys found that helpful. Have a great day, guys.